today we are making a Harry Potter snow globe in my Saturday Christmas series. I really hope this thumbnail looks good. I've literally just got a pile of things on here and I'm just going to wing it and hope it works. Now in the past I have made little DIY snow globes with you know my kids around Christmas. We do a lot of crafty things at Christmas because I am a crafty person and it's what I like to do but we have done things like that but I did look up because I was putting water in my jars and I looked up and it said glycerin, right? And I thought, this was last night, right? The night before I'm filming. And I thought, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get glycerin. I don't think my shops sell glycerin. So I looked up what you could use instead of glycerin. So this is what they said. They said baby oil. So if it doesn't work, I will find who said this and say you ruined my video. But what it apparently does is when you give it a shake, the snow globe, the snow in the globe, um, it swirls more and it sort of goes down a bit slower in the baby oil than it would do water. There's only one way to find out in there. We wing these DIYs, guys. I maybe should have had a little practice in a jar with some fake snow, but no, we're going straight into the deep end, aren't we? But of course, me being me, I didn't just want to put something in a jar and then put baby oil in it and snow, put the lid on and be like, ah, done. We're gonna just do other bits with it because it's me and it's what I do. But if you wanna see how I make this Harry Potter, it's gonna be a bit of a subtle one, I think. Harry's gonna be in the jar, as you've seen, but it might be a bit of a subtle Harry. It's not gonna, well, it will scream Harry Potter because Harry's in the snow globe, Susie. But other than Harry in the snow globe, <laughs> Um, there's only subtle pieces around it. You've seen the thumbnail. I don't even know whether it's going to look like how I got it in my head. I haven't got a clue. But anyway, if you're interested in seeing the mess I create, then keep on watching. And if this is the first time you've seen my face, hello and welcome to my channel. If you love anything to do with Harry Potter, this is the place for you. Hit that subscribe button because I'd love to have you. A massive thank you to these guys. These guys are my Patreons. They help me keep this channel running just that little bit more. I love you guys. If you'd like to know any more about Patreon, it's linked in the description of this video along with my social medias go see what I'm up to on those let's wing another DIY okay so the first thing I want to do guys like I said you've seen the thumbnail we have a box so this is my box you can get these from hobby stores you know like craft stores you can also get boxes like this off the internet they're very easy to come by um, but I don't want it white <laughs> we're gonna paint it brown because I know it doesn't look like a trunk, but I want that trunk sort of effect, look, colour. I am making no sense, but we're just, we're, we're painting it brown, just go with it, okay? I need to let that dry I think I'm only going to leave one coat on it I haven't painted inside because obviously the lid's going to be on and I suppose you could use this as a box like so you could put things in it maybe some few a few little Christmas things that maybe mean a lot to you or I don't know you know it's a box you can put things in it but we'll see how stable it is once we're finished but whilst that's drying I think we should get on with this thing so all I'm using for this, I have a jar, just a jar. Um, I've actually bought a pack of these from Hobbycraft. <coughs> um, so I've got jars all the same size. And what I'm gonna do, I need to get my hot glue gun, uh, whoa, let my hot glue gun warm up. I've got a little Harry here that I thought would be perfect for this little snow globe. But because of this bit on the jar, once the lid's on, obviously, like I said, it'll be upside down. Um, he hides because he's only Diddy. So I've got him a little stand here. So what I want to do is I want to hot glue this to here and this to here. And then uh, I'll be back with you. Well, no, you'll see me glue it, but I need to let the hot glue gun warm up first. Okay, I need to move this box because I'm gonna get me wire on it from my glue gun. Right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue this straight onto the lid in the middle Susie yeah did we get it central yeah that's pretty central to me look at that right 
Now, I did look up that hot glue is waterproof. I actually know my friend Lisa looked it up. She looked it up for me last night on a video chat and she said that hot glue is water-based and I said, but it's, and she said everything that it will withstand and be okay with. And I said, it probably says except for baby oil, but then she looked up um, oil and it said that it should be fine as well. So again, if the internet's lying, I'll be cross. Right, I need to get this central, I need to concentrate one second. I think we've done that very well. So there's Harry on his little podium thing. Now, uh, I'm gonna let that set a bit first before I do the next step. Okay, he's set, Harry, you move over there. You're not the shine of the thing at the minute. Right, let's see. Um, oh gosh, right, let's see. I can't even get in this, there we go. Right, so we're gonna fill this with baby oil and hope, have I got enough? Yeah, I've got plenty. Let's squirt that in. It's a bit bubbly, but that'll calm down, it's fine. Right, there we go. And then what I need to do now, this is where Susie's gonna mess up, isn't it? We need to put Harry in here. Oh, I see, the snow does just sort of. Okay, make sure that's tight. Are we ready? Okay, it's a bit bubbly at the minute. I'm gonna let the bubbles calm down, I think. Yeah, we're gonna let the bubbles calm down and then we'll have a look. Harry, you look really, your head looks massive now. Okay, so the box is dry. Now, what I want to do, look, it's settled as well. Hang on, let me bring the camera up. It's settled, look how cool that looks. And some of the snow is still sort of around Harry, stuck in the oil. Baby oil's definitely worked. Hats off to the person that figured that baby oil is a thing for this. So I do recommend baby oil. You have to let it settle. You saw how cloudy it looked, but it looks really awesome now. Definitely looks awesome. What I'm gonna do though, guys, put the camera back there now. I'm not gonna glue it on. I think I'm literally just gonna rest it on. This is gonna be decorated, you've seen the thumbnail. Um, I'm just gonna rest it on because then that way, if you did, if I did, or you did, if you have a go, wanted to use this as a box, it would be much easier just to take that off and take the box lid off itself. But yeah, what I wanna do now, we're gonna move lovely Harry to the side and I need to figure out what I wanna do with this box. Right, so what I wanna do now is I wanna wrap this ribbon round the box. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a bit of hot glue onto the ribbon, make sure I go the right way round. Bit of hot glue on the ribbon and get it glued round the box. Here's one I made earlier, a little bow, and we're gonna stick that, I'm gonna hot glue that on the front there. And on top of the bow, I made a little golden snitch. This is literally a bead with two little wing charms that I had in my jewelry making. And all I did was threaded some wire on and made loops and hooked these wings on. Let me see if you can tell what I've done. Uh, there, look, there's a loop there. I just, with my, um, uh, these, my round nose pliers, I made a loop and obviously hooked the wing onto the loop before closing the loop up. But there we have created a little golden snitch. So yeah, I'm just gonna hot glue these things on. So our first Harry Potter item is going onto our little box slash snow globe stand. <laughs> We've got some nice red bow and a ribbon going on. We've got a golden snitch on there. This is looking pretty cool. Now, let me show you what I have. Oh look, you can see them wiggling. That's so cool. So I have got a witch's hat. We have got a stag. We have got a lightning bolt, a Deathly Hallows charm, and a feather. So off camera, I'm gonna figure out 
how I want these, but I want these charms adding to it because this is what's gonna give it the Harry Potter feel. I just need to figure out how and where I want these. Change plan, change plan. Right, so can you remember this stuff that I was cutting off here when I did the Patronus in a light jar, in a bell jar, yeah? If not, the video's on my playlist. If I remember, I'll link it up top. But I do have, I used this, um, I was cutting these off because they look like little trees and I put them inside the bell jar for the Patronus. Um, it's a really cool DIY that was. What I'm gonna do guys, because it's a bit plain around here and the jar lid's doing my head in, so I'm actually gonna hot glue these, cut them off and hot glue them round the outside of Harry. So one, it hides this lid a bit and two, it takes this plainness off from around here. Then what I thought I'd do is with these charms, I can hopefully use them as like a tree decoration and hang, yep, that didn't work. Sort of hang them on here maybe. That's not gonna work, I'll figure, I'll figure it out. I'll, we're gonna glue these on first because I like that idea. So I'm gonna move these charms out of the way for now. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna, I think actually then, I'm gonna glue Harry down in his snow globe and glue him down onto there. I won't be using it as a box, but it's something you could if you had a go. I have got paint on my finger. Okay, so I've glued Harry on there. I'm actually gonna bring the camera down a bit so you can see a bit better. That's better, you can see him, but look, isn't he looking lovely? I really like, look at the little wings dangling. I'm liking this. So yeah, I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna, you can see so much better. Sorry, I'm gonna hot glue some of these snowy, snowy leafy, reefy things around the app. You're gonna glue on, aren't you? Absolutely loving this. On here though, if I can get it on camera. There's some red cherries. I think we're gonna have to glue some of these just round there too, because we've got a bit of red ribbon going on. So bringing a bit of red up here would look pretty cool. So I'm gonna snip some of these cherries off now and we're definitely gluing them around here a little bit, making a bit of a display. Harry, you look amazing. It's actually turned out better than I had in my head. Now, um, I really want to get them charms on. I think. I don't know if it's going to ruin it. I don't know where I'm going to put the charms. Um, I don't know. I don't even. If I do add any, I don't think I need to add that many. I'm just going to go have a think. Guys, I've been fiddling about with the charms and I don't think I'm going to add them on. I've been fiddling about, I've been placing about, trust me, it looks too much. I don't know. But what I'm going to do now, guys, is you're going to see some proper photos of this. And then, yeah, I'll be back with you to talk about it at the end. I really don't think it needs any more adding to it.
know you guys have just seen pictures of it, but look, he kind of looks like he's in an ice cube. Do you know what I mean? He looks so cool, but his head looks huge. I love the cherries. And I, I really, really love this DIY. This was so amazing to do. The little golden snitch at the front. It's still quite a subtle. It, it kind of does scream Harry Potter because Harry's big head's in there. But at the same time, it is quite a subtle piece as well. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but I, I really love, 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 love this snow globe. It's absolutely amazing. So I've shook the snow globe up just to show you. Um, you can see it swirl. It, it actually looks really cool. Um, let me see if I can get it to swirl a bit faster for you. No, I need both hands one sec. Okay, so it's moving and Harry looks like he's now in a blizzard, but obviously once it's settled, it, well, it settles and you can see him properly again. Um, I don't know if I do recommend baby oil or not. I. I'm happy with it, I'm happy with it. Um, but it doesn't do the swirlies, you know that snow globes do. It doesn't do the swirlies for me, but it's still quite satisfying to watch these little fake snowflakes in there. But yeah, here, we, oh, what are you doing? There we go. So here we have our Harry Potter snow globe. See, Harry guys, oh my days, oh my days. This is just beautiful. I really like it. The wings keep going sideways. Stop it. But this is gonna look amazing. This is quite a centerpiece for your mantelpiece at Christmas. You have to admit. But I'm really proud of this. There are so many snow globes that I like and they're quite expensive. But you can make your own look. It looks posh. It looks posh like theirs. I think it looks quite posh. Don't you think it looks quite posh? Have you made a snow globe for this Christmas? Have you done your very own DIY snow globe? Did you find something better to put in yours? I mean, it's settling again now. It does look cool. And I will say I do quite like with this that the snow is constantly sort of swirling and sticking around that like it looks like it's constantly snowing and a bit like it's in an ice cube. It doesn't settle all the way down or go to the top. It just, some of it stays quite central. So it looks like snow in there with Harry. So I do quite like that about it. Um, I suppose it saves that I have to keep flipping the whole thing over because there's already snow in it. So maybe, there, maybe it was quite good that way. But yeah, let me know if you've ever made a snow globe, what you used inside. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you've done any other Harry Potter Christmas DIY crafts this year and feel free to send me pictures of them on my social medias because you know I love it when you send me pictures. When you send me pictures it really puts a smile on my face because I love seeing what people have made. But if you enjoyed this video guys please give it a massive thumbs up for me because it helps me more than you know and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye Potter Poppets.